All right, small task time before we get to the actual dungeons. You know, when something's spinning around and around like that, the uh, the laws of physics dictate that anything on top of that something would be pulled outward and flung off of the object. So let's just pick, just take a moment to picture Link flying off of a spinning boat in the air. Not as comical as getting launched from a barrel. <laughs> Yeah, but it's totally in character for tune uh, for tune like thou. So, I wish it was a random effect that could happen from time to time when you use that, just for the fuck of it. Um. Yes. Agreed. Okay. That is a hell of a random thing to run into. Nope. We need to go here. I'm surprised there's not more bedrock surrounding this thing. If you try to boat across the, um, the the red boiling water does that hurt you no you just can't it just stops you wait one ice arrow did that it's yep. magic magic and yet it just slightly inconveniences your enemies when it hits them mm. but it also doesn't last forever <laughs> we only have five minutes da, 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 da. <laughs> oh man this would be so much easier if I could jump Yes, indeed. I'm sorry, the yeah. order of the plumbers have dictated that jumping become a lost art. <laughs> I'm sorry, Today's today my luck sucks, because, like, we never get helicopters around here. And yet, the moment we sit around to um, do a commentary, what do I hear outside my window but a helicopter that just will not go away? <laughs> <laughs> Louis, I... I... I, I I don't mean to uh, uh, intimidate you, but there may be a wanted murderer hiding in your neighborhood. <laughs> uh. Every Saturday. Wow. <laughs> 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 it's a popular hiding spot. <laughs> You're actually edging across. I kind of expected you to do well, that thing where you would glide across. The weather is getting more the higher we go. Man, did somebody lose their sheep or something? Because I keep on hearing this buying going on yeah no those are the vultures yeah the vultures. She, sheep vultures <laughs> okay is that what the sheep evolved into their own worst enemy okay the alone uh, version <laughs> <laughs> so do you have to clear this dungeon in five minutes or else you die yes it's not really a dungeon it's, it's just go inside and grab the thing and then leave yeah get the hell out See, One. The edges are not dull. <laughs> this is the master sword. <laughs> Quick time event that bitch. Yeah. <sighs> that Ganondorf doesn't even Where's know. It he's, he's, like, he's fat. He's getting pork. He's <laughs> old. It smells funny. <laughs> I, I just can't wait for gaming to get over its fixation with quick time event cinematic combat situations. And I know that's not really what's going on here, but... Uh. Shadow, where'd you leave these things? You the I expected rings? that to die within five or six years, but it's still going on. It's like a half-assed 12 days of Christmas. Two golden rings. We couldn't afford five. <laughs> no, those are Shadow's arm bracelets. Uh, <laughs> The, the power inhibitors, that bullshit. Kinda. Wait, aren't we trying to <laughs> unlock the power of the um, Master Sword? What do we need power inhibitors for? No, they, in this universe, they make Link really strong. We want to unleash power, but not too much power. So we put these. I never, the yeah, I, I never liked the idea of him having like the power inhibitors. I just always, I just liked that he was wearing them and then they fell off when he was doing that whole uh, live and learn stuff at the end of yeah, SA2. Uh, the power <laughs> inhibitors thing is weird. It's like. Something from the from Sonic X that they liked enough to put it into a game, more or less. The only game that they put it into was 06, though, right? Um, when he was yeah, it's like, the only I'm... time it's ever mentioned. Yeah, yeah, never. It, yeah, I guess it's, it's, and, it's, it's and, and, you know, it's 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 supposed to be an explanation for why he fell. Like he took off his power inhibitors to uh, help get rid of Final Hazard and. Yeah, yeah, but I did. I've never. Which they never explain. Yeah, I just. I don't. I just. Uh, personally, I prefer the idea that you know shadows just uh, and like you know. I don't like the idea that oh man, shadows so cool. He has to limit his power to stop people. It's you know. I like personally. I like the idea that you know he wasn't as good at super stuff, and then that's why he fell. <laughs> yeah, I, I. I think it was more intended to be like 
he he has to limit his power because if it because if he doesn't it goes out of control and it physically hurts him to use. Uh, you make one Sonic reference and you go on for this for like two minutes. <laughs> hey, we're sailing. What what the hell what the hell channel do you think you're on here, Ryan? It, no, this is this is nostalgia, guys. I mean, we used to be known for our Sonic tangents every playthrough, but then then we just sort of stopped doing that for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, because we thought we matured, <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> it's just because they hadn't been releasing Sonic games as frequently lately. That's also a decent point. Ah, uh, you have to go after the shiny spot in the water, don't you, Ryan? I mean, it's right there, and I need the money. So how much money do you need in this version, then, for Tingle? I don't know the number off the top of my head. Okay. Not as much as the GameCube version. That's all that matters. Yeah. You got a box! <laughs> yeah, when do we get the boot? It's a good thing the ancient Hyruleans left all these waterproof treasure chests lying around. Yeah, what do, what we don't know is that we're secretly digging up all of these dead Hyruleans' life savings. Yeah. Well, they're dead, so it's not like they're using them. Spoken like a true asshole. <laughs> Every time I see the Tower of the Gods in the distance, I just think immediately of Mega Man Legends. Uh, Link. <laughs> I'm getting to it. Ah, yes. It's like, hmm, how do I defrost this ice palace? I got it. More ice. Yeah, one <laughs> one flame arrow with the amount of fire on it, roughly equivalent to like maybe three candles, is enough to defrost this entire goddamn island. When my toaster won't even defrost one goddamn bagel, you know, whatever. It's magic. You're not going to get that treasure <laughs> test? <laughs> what, the bagel's magic? All right, fire in video games always work so fast, but it's fine in a game like this that's all cartoony and unrealistic. It gets a little patchier in a game like Tomb Raider, where everything just ignites into a blazing inferno within uh, two and a half femtoseconds. Just like in real life. <laughs> I can't wait to go on my next expedition where I fight a T-Rex. I've, I've been camping. I've started fires. It takes a lot longer than that to start a campfire. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you're just not doing it right. Okay, so I haven't played the Tomb Raider... Da, da, da. I haven't played the Tomb Raider reboot at all. Do they just ignore all of the T-Rex and other goofy shit that Lara Croft generally does? Yeah, although I'm not sure about Rise of the Tomb Raider. I don't expect to see any, any, any uh, T-Rexes there. But uh, it, it attempts to be more down-to-earth. That down-to-earth attempt sort of falls flat on its face when you consider that Lara's supposed to be all traumatized by killing, but the game is still really, really encouraging you to like it. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> yeah, Lara hates it, but I don't. <laughs> no, it's like that, that's one of the consistent complaints with both games is that the narrative and the gameplay don't exactly match up. In fact, in, in, I would say that the uh, the story that they went with would have fit more if they went for the kind of gameplay that the old Tomb Raiders went, than like the really old Tomb Raiders went for, where it was mostly platforming and ex exploration with occasional enemies. But uh, it's more like non-stop action with occasional moving around and doing stuff. Sounds about right. God damn it, bats. And you, you gotta L target them behind a wall. You're just asking for camera troubles. They're not worth it. What is that bat doing? Oh, and since right. some someone in the comments is probably halfway through writing a really angry comment at me, I actually like the Tomb Raider reboot, so I'm, I'm just, you know, bringing up a thing that slightly bugged me about Lewis, it while I was playing. Having a problem with the game means you hate it. You, you just need to figure that out, and then everything will be so much easier. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I, I, I actually prefer playing the Tomb Raider reboot to um, Uncharted. That's just my preference, though. Uncharted is probably a better game. I just get into Tomb Raider more. Oh boy, the Iron Boots! Everybody's favorite Zelda item! And by I don't like them in this game. Well, at least it's better than Ocarina of Time, where it's a, not a piece of equipment, it's just an item. Oh, uh, was it an item yeah, in but the... the... You go so slow in this game. It doesn't look any slower or faster than other... Iron Boots. Because uh, if I remember Twilight Princess, it was just about as slow. Twilight Princess goes a little bit faster. But yep. just a little bit. You also use them a lot more because the Iron Boots are one of the first items you get in no. Twilight Princess. The Iron Boots are the first item you get in Twilight Princess that subscribe to that. We're going to make a dungeon about following set paths using this item. 
um, design mentality. Yeah, you get it like right before the the Goron dungeon, if I remember correctly. Although that dungeon was cool because it had like the magnetic walls and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I liked how the iron boots were implemented in Twilight Princess because of that game. Yeah, but that dungeon was also just a pure straight shot. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like it's a cool concept. It, 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 they didn't really do anything interesting with it, though. It, it just kind of winded up being a slower version of those walls Gex climbs in his 3D games. At the very least, they did have you doing the traditional Iron Boots stuff more throughout the game, like walking yeah. through wind currents and yada yada. I tend to gravitate more to those to those items in Zelda that have um, uh, less uh, less uh, railroaded utility. Yeah, because that's like stuff like the 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 spinner and the Dominion Rod. Are cool in theory, mm -hmm. but you don't use them after you're done with their dungeon. Except yeah. for like the three or four heart pieces that are ascribed to them in the overworld. Mm -hmm. So is this area just permanently unfrozen now? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, at this point, I think you can go after the treasure chest too, although <laughs> Ryan seems what to be skipping down? them. Oh, I need so much money for Tingle, ignores half of the money he can find for Tingle. <laughs> it's the HD version, he can get away with it. <laughs> now, if it were the GameCube version, I'd be going after everything. <laughs> I don't think there's really any reason to go back to the GameCube version at this point, though. Nope. Oh, we just did the Sonic level select code. No, wait, no, was that up, down, left, right? <laughs> up, down, left, right. Okay. Close, but not right. Not, not, ah. not, it's actually that that I was thinking of when I, when I made that remark, when we uh, first got this song, though. I will say that the Wind Waker is uh, significantly easier to remember the, the, the songs for than the Ocarina. Well, there are, less of, there are fewer of them. <laughs> well, yeah, because you're not doing anything more than the Cardinal Directions. Yeah. And I don't think the game ever requires you to use the A button. No, the game just... This is just, like, you get, like, two or three songs. Oh, dear. <laughs> there are shoes in the island now. Grandma! Did you, did, did you try to make soup again and it, it didn't go as planned? <laughs> the soup fought back. <laughs> Damn you, wooden sculpture. You've taken my stuff for the last time. <laughs> At first glance, I didn't realize it was a shark. I thought it was like an ocarina callback. Nope. So what do you get for fighting this guy again? Uh, you get rubies for a certain point, but if you get a certain number of hits before he hits you three times, uh, you get a heart piece. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Just gonna say that now. You have to hit him a hundred times before he hits you three times. Yeah. yeah. And I think he gets harder after a point. That's yeah, one. he does. Is there any way to cheese it? Not, Not really. really. Yeah, play you good. Just, you just gotta fall into. You, you just gotta figure out his pattern. Every time he guards your attack, he's about to counter. So you have to counter his counter. Let's see. Yeah. Enough. Man, you suck. <laughs> 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 So, honey, what did you do today? I beat up a small boy. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. No surprise, they don't call the authorities on you, dear. Oh, are you trying to get the rupees from him? No. Oh, you're trying. Oh, you're trying to. I'm gonna get my super spin attack. Oh man, belts! My pants have been falling off for ages. <laughs> This one's from WWE. <laughs> this one's from Raw. Um, so how WCW are you supposed to know Raw to give H. them to this guy? He mentions it if you come back. Oh, okay. Hmm, time to learn a secret, all-powerful sword technique. It's a spin attack, but faster. Ha! But you stand in place and spin around in circles with your arm held out. Nah, it's the charge spin attack. 
I love the spin attack in this game. Oh wait, it is a spin attack, but faster. <laughs> that's his. That's Link's. I think. Uh, oh god, that's Link's last combo in Hyrule Warriors. Toon Link, I should say. Like you, if you do his his final combo, he you he'll spin around like that, and you can change his direction too. Does he get dizzy after the end of it? Uh, I don't. He might, but I always dodge cancel to skip that animation if it happens. So. Yeah, he always gets dizzy after using it in this game, which is like the only detriment to the attack. Well, if you've done your job right, there shouldn't be anything left to hit you when True. you're dizzy. <laughs> and if they live to laugh at my dizziness, they've only delayed the inevitable. So is that the only reason why you're here? <laughs> yep. Well, if they're laughing at you <laughs> instead of smacking you, then, well... They deserve to die. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I mean, Beetle Shop got really tacky. You mean it wasn't before? Well, it got, I said, even more tacky. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> that bait fish was just swimming in there. You don't feed me anymore. I don't care. I know where I'm going. <laughs> it's called the Game Guide, motherfucker. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Oh, <laughs> you said you were showing the mandatory sailing, right? Yep. This is like a preview of the moon buggy in the Mass Effect playthrough, where we all just start running out of things to say. <laughs> no, that's when we turn on the radio. <laughs> now, like, um, uh, someone else showed me a video they made on Twitter, uh, a Mass Effect uh, playthrough, and whenever it was uh, a moon buggy sequence, they just sped it up and started playing music from another game with a radio filter over it. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what we need to do. Wind Waker relevant tunes <laughs> from the 80s and 90s. Well, we already did the easy one, Come Sail Away, so... I got nothing. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, when the hell did we get strong enough to pick up that? That's what power the power braces. braces were for. They're not actually Shadows Inhibitors. They're actually in-game. Oh, in right, I wasn't paying attention. Like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, like, the only song where you have to... No. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to play four notes. <laughs> you will play six, and you will <laughs> like it. Three nights time, why? <laughs> there's... I don't even know if a ninth... There is no ninth time, because there's no ninth note. <laughs> Someone will find a way. <laughs> yeah, um, but is there only one song for each time signature? No, there are two, uh, six ones. Ah, uh, okay. Because the extra time signatures thing is something that I never really got. It's just a way to shorten or lengthen certain songs without, you know, making them needlessly complicated. I guess so. So we do get to see an actual Zora here. Hey, you're not a bird. I like how the Zora have dolphin fins hanging off of their heads. It's like, ah, uh, you really took the dolphin fin and hairstyle to its logical extreme, didn't you? I'm just it's kind of it kind of makes you squick because <laughs> you forget that you know the the design of Azora is supposed to be eloquent like a like a ball gown and then you realize that's an extension of their skin that's a skin flap at <laughs> least the, this one's wearing clothes well, technically Rudo is wearing clothes no not really only in the Ocarina Time 3D game <laughs> I'm saying technically doesn't mean it showed up well well no um what was uh the Lulu in yeah, Majora's Lulu. Mask. She mm -hmm. wore a dress. And Because in Hyrule Warriors, Rudo is definitely not wearing clothes. She just has scales that kind of look like a bra. <laughs> yeah. It's totally fine. I'm sorry, am I boring you? <laughs> 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 I mean, you're just sitting there king the entire time. I'm the one doing all the work. So the new Wind Waker song that we've got, what does it do? It, um, it opens up the it opens up the door to the temple. Yeah, it's basically the equivalent of half of the Ocarina of Time songs. Oh, okay, great. Oop. No, wait, I'm at the right place. I thought you I was at Forest Forest the Bolero of Fire. Awesome. What does it do? It opens the door. That's oh. that kind of thing slightly anno an an annoys me because it feels like a waste of the uh, potential of the instrument thing. It's a glorified key. Yeah. yeah. It, well, it also serves as warp points, so that's something, I guess. I mean, like being able to change the wind is a nice is a nice utility. You could use it for things like Ryan used it to change the wind so that he could glide over pits without having to very slowly inch over a, a ledge for example. That, that's, that, that's utility. I like that. 
Ocarina of Time does have that with, like, the first half of the songs, like, change the time of day, make it rain, you know, stuff like that. You can do stuff with half yeah, the song. Right. <laughs> you can do stuff with half the songs. The other half of the songs you, like, play once and never play again. So, yeah. that always bothered me, but it's it's not a game-breaking issue. It's just missed potential. Yeah. I can sort of understand in Ocarina's case because uh, Ocarina was mostly focused on just being a competent 3D adventure game, which uh, nobody really knew how to do yet at that point. So how are we supposed to know that Medley is the Sage of the Earth? Uh, the Zora Spirit tells you the, bird, the, but the Sage would have this instrument that I have. Oh, okay. And, and we see her with it multiple times. Okay. So... They don't just point you in the direction you're supposed to go. You have to remember shit. They do eventually. I'm sure if you talk to people, enough people, they'll the be like... The Gossip Stone. Yeah, the Gossip Stone, the King of Red Lines. Yeah, if What's you take you? if you take too long, it, ha it it takes mercy on you and just gives you the answer. Hey, but... listen. <laughs> Bird. But that's more like a mandatory super guide <laughs> moment, so... <laughs> See the clue. Will you conduct me with the Wind Waker? Why does it have to be with the Wind Waker? Wouldn't any old stick do? Are you just one of those Wind Waker fangirls? <laughs> yeah, but that stick is not imbued with magical powers. It's interesting that they choose uh, that, that this song is the Earth God's lyric, because this is also the riff for the title screen of the game as well, which is which is weird. Yeah. Like it's, the it's, heart piece. Yeah, it's, it's just a strange song to pick for the title screen, I suppose. No! <sighs> Ryan, can you please edit in something funny for the background here? Please. <laughs> but no, this is supposed to be a dramatic moment. <laughs> yeah, that's why it would be funny. <laughs> the crash dance. The Japanese Crash Bandicoot commercial. Just something silly. Where am I? Oh no, the... Uh... Japanese only to the past commercial. Oh, <laughs> Zelda, <laughs> Zelda, Zelda in sense. If you have access to Chroma Key, I demand you do that. If not, I will rip this video off YouTube myself and do it. Uh, I love that for Link Between Worlds, they brought that song back for the Japanese commercials. It it was amazing. No, you're slightly off, sweetie. Look at me. <laughs> your fingers Open have to actually eyes. touch the strings, Medley, in order for you to play <laughs> the harp. Wow, that's really easy to play when no one's around to watch. Oh, we made triangles. You made triangles. <laughs> yeah, sweet. But we were I trying just, to do a trapezoid. Oh, God. Funny. I just realized that, that, that um, Medley has, like, fully drawn on lips under her beak. Uh, that, that looks so creepy. <laughs> Yeah, because it makes her less of a bird and more of a bird cosplayer. <laughs> uh, I saw everything. I can see for miles and miles. <laughs> yeah, I can see the music. See the music. I see, I see a note pattern. A note pattern that you're going to have to collect all of them to get items in the future. Or is it the past? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you know, what timeline is this? From Link's perspective, Medley just uh, Link waved to stick around. Medley passed out and decided, "I'm the Sage of the Earth." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Space Jesus. Spoiler alert: Medley's at the ending, so I, this farewell thing is kind of moot. <laughs> Yeah, it's not even like Ocarina of Time where the sages are just kind of like stuck in that circle thing for forever. Oh yeah, now we're going to have a romantic boat ride with my bird friend. Yeah. You know, that that part is depressing because like one of those sages is Link's friend. <laughs> well, he's bros well, with all of them. It's no different than um, Saria in Ocarina of Time. She was also a sage. You know, Link, I could have just flown us there. <laughs> Link, it's right next door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, man. Wow, that sure is a temple of Earth. <laughs> oh, Link, you're the kind of guy that takes his car to the corner store down the street. 
<laughs> you know, when you said we were going for a night on the town, I thought we'd be going someplace a little bit more exciting. <laughs> not, not, I'm, this is probably going to be fine, I'm, I'm sure. fucking Burger King. <laughs> this doesn't look like a temple, it just sort of looks like a place where the earth had a coughing fit, and uh, the door was a result. <laughs> So, why did you choose this one to go to first, Ryan? It's just the one I normally do first. Oh, well, that's a boring reason. <laughs> really, you could do this or the Wind Temple first. It really makes no difference. I did the Wind Temple first. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> Link, wave your stick around better. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fast forward. <laughs> I like how it's called the Earth God's Lyric. Just one lyric. That's all you need for a song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see that lyric sheet. The... That's it. <laughs> Ancient, archaeologically insignificant artifacts completely destroyed. <laughs> all in a day's work. Hey, Indiana Jones made a career out of that, I'll have you know. Yeah, but he said it belongs in a museum, so he at least feigned like he knew what he was doing. No, he he like he destroyed so much archaeological shit to get treasure. Actual archaeologists would probably hate him. In fact, I read an article that quoted an archaeologist saying exactly that. <laughs> Ryan, that was a sloppy edit. You saw, we saw Link drop down to the temple first. No, the part should begin with that, goddammit. Well, now I can't cut it out. Thanks. 